The First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. The First Amendment is absolutely vital. One of the reasons why there is a United States is freedom of religion. But there's two parts of that. One is the liberty to believe what you want to believe. The other part of that is the framers did not want a government to establish a religion, so it's right there in the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law abridging the free exercise of religion or in respect to the establishment of religion. Freedom of religion is vital for the proper functioning of the United States of America. Why is the First Amendment important? Well, the First Amendment gives us, the people, the right to speech, press, assembly, and especially religion. Without religion, a person would not be him or herself. Religion can be a huge part of a person's life for those who choose to have a religion. Religion is the one thing that can make a person different or unique from other people, and it is what shapes a person's morals and beliefs. Religion is not just Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism, Islamic, Chinese folk religion, or anything like that. It is what you believe in. It can be a higher being that you choose to let guide you to the right path. Without religion, morals, and beliefs, there would be some people who don't have a sense of right and wrong, and will not have someone, something, or even a higher being to guide them. Now think about this. If the USA made its citizens follow a certain religion, what would happen? The people will have the same beliefs and morals, which gets rid of all the diversity. And it's not what the people want. America is a great tossed salad of many different cultures and religions. The tossed salad theory is where different races and cultures are put together to live peacefully and harmoniously, just like a tossed salad. All the ingredients are different, but not mixed or melted together. This brings us to the other theory, the melting pot theory. The melting pot theory is where all the different religions, cultures, and races are meshed together. The United States is a tossed salad, all because of the First Amendment. With all the ingredients of the tossed salad gone, would America be the country it is now? Would it be an advanced, free country that could think for itself? A country with many different cultures to learn about. A country that is free to do and practice whatever it wants. Without the First Amendment, the right to exercise religion would not be true. This brings us to the topic of the Free Exercise Clause and the Establishment Clause. The quote, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, is an important part of the First Amendment. These religion clauses prohibit the establishment of a national religion by Congress and the preference of the U.S. government of one religion over another. It is, as Thomas Jefferson said, a wall of separation between church and state. Many different people have different viewpoints about religion. Some people are against it and some people strongly for it. Um, I think it's a really important part of our country's history. We came to America trying to find religious freedom. But then again, it uh, causes a lot of infighting, and we need to be aware of that. And there's a lot of problems with separation of church and state, but ultimately, we need it in our country. My feelings on Amendment 1 and religion are, I think people deserve to have a right to their own religion. Uh, who am I to say, well, you should serve my God, or I should serve your God, who are you to say that? So I think Amendment 1 is really good because it gives people the freedom to do to serve their own God in their own way without interrupting my religion or, yeah. I feel like people should be able to express their religion wherever they are. The First Amendment gives people the right to practice their own religion. Therefore, it's not forced upon people who do not wish to practice religion. But it is a different thing if people practice a certain religion that harms other citizens or disrupts order. This brings on the topic of extremist religions. 
Some religions practice sacrifice. Can it be considered murder? What about suicide? Sacrificing yourself can mean you end your own life, and that is suicide. What does the government think about all these extremist religions? Okay, Misa, slow down with the questions. Let me tell you the limits the government has on religion. First of all, people have the right to practice religion as long as it does not harm or disturb people. For example, if a girl came topless to school and said it was part of her religion, she would not be allowed to practice her religion because of the disturbances it would cause within the school. The main point is that you can practice any religion as long as it does not violate any laws of the United States. The court stated that laws are made for the government of actions, and while they cannot interfere with mere religious belief and opinions, they may with practices. For example, if one were part of a religion that believed in human sacrifice, the First Amendment would protect one's belief in sacrifice, but not the practice. Oh, okay. So the government says we have the right to practice any religion, but there are limits. I agree with this because I don't want to see some girl walking around topless at school or a human sacrifice in the middle of town. I just think that everyone should have a right to believe in religion. First Freedom is a fabulous story that takes us back to the roots of this country. And we observe the founding fathers who came together and put together a nation. You know, there's an extraordinary time in history where an extraordinary group of people got together, bright men, but they had strong opinions, and yet they found a way to compromise. They were religious, they were devout, they believed in God. Despite their uh, own backgrounds and religious beliefs, they came together for the better good. One of the keys to creating this society was having a society in which everyone could worship as they wanted. It was the first time in modern American history that we carved into law the right for personal religious worship or the right to not even worship at all. And that's the beauty of the First Amendment. This first separation of church and state would change world history forever. Freedom of religion is in many ways the first freedom. This established our nation as a nation where people could honor their own conscientious convictions and worship God in the way that they believed in conscience God wished to be worshiped. I therefore beg leave to move that henceforth prayers imploring the assistance of heaven and blessings on our deliberations be held in this assembly each morning before we proceed to our business. I beg to differ with you, Mr. Madison. The people of Virginia insist there be a list of assured individual liberties. Patrick Henry, George Mason, these prominent anti-federalists are ones that really put the heat on James Madison and others to say, if you're going to have our support, if we're going to move forward, we really need to have a Bill of Rights uh, as part of this. And one of the things that is, is preeminent there is a commitment to religious liberty. We have so lived as to fear neither horn of the dilemma. We have willingly done injury to no man and have done for our country the good which has fallen in our way. Be our last as cordial as were our first affections. Thomas Jefferson.